Hi, I'm Steffi Fung, and I've teamed up with Adobe to show you how to create beautiful digital fashion pieces using quick tips in Substance Painter. And today we are diving into masking and custom patterns. So let's jump in. Okay, we are in Illustrator and I have an example of a swirl that I have sketched before. We will be creating something similar to this today. If you want to choose a different design, go for it. But if you want to follow along, you can also do that as well. I'll leave that up to you. So we'll head over to a new file here. And all I'm going to do is go over to the brush tool and we will draw a little squiggle here. Don't have to be too precious about it. You can always change it in the end. Now what I'm going to do is head over to the Layers tab here. We are going to lock this layer, add a new layer on top, and head over to the Pen tool. I'm going to sketch all over this and give it a little bit more shape and design. And I will fast forward it so you don't have to sit through it. And I will see you once I'm done. Okay, the outline is done and now I will turn off the first layer and we will refine this pattern here. Okay, this is the final look. Now we need to fill them with color. We need to work with the colors black and white. And so with this sketch, we will click on it and we will take off the stroke here. But it does have a white feel already. You can see that here. So right now it's blending in with the background. But if I were to move it over here, you can see it's filled white. And then we simply need to make a square for the background. There we go. We want to make sure that it is completely black. So the values for that is usually zero, zero, and zero. We want it pitch black. There we go. Then we will open up the layers tab here and we'll just swap them over. Done. So. You might be wondering why black and white. Anything that is white will be seen and anything black won't be seen. And this will become a lot more obvious once we bring it into Substance Painter. But for now, we will head to File, Export, Export As. We will choose the file type as a PNG and you will name it to whatever you would like to. Swell 5. Press Export, press OK. And now we can jump into Substance Painter. Welcome to Substance Painter. We will be adding the custom vector onto this 3D piece here. So what you want to do is drag in the PNG we exported and drag it into this material section here. Just drop it. You will get this pop-up box and you will change undefined to alpha because that is what it will be. And down here, this drop down box, you got three options. You can either add it to your current session, but when you close substance, the PNG will not be there anymore. You could either add it to this project. So every time you open this project file, it will always be there. Or you can add it to your assets, which means you can use it for different projects and use it forever. So I'm going to choose the library your assets option and we will import it in and you will see it in your alpha section here. Okay to use it as an alpha mask first of all we will go to the material section. I'm going to drag on this tartan print here and we will go up here and select a black mask. From there we will go to alpha to the left and we can type in the name swell five that's what I've named it. Click on it and it should appear here. As you can see, it has printed on. You may notice it's printed on both sides and that's because I have symmetry turned on here. If you don't like that, turn off symmetry just like that. But for the case of this tutorial, I would like to have it on. So let me turn it back on. Now I think the size is a bit too big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And if we click just like that, there we go. It is now printed on. Now, if I were to just Control Z that and we change the angle that it is rotated upon. What if I were to click and do something like this? This is where it starts to get interesting. And I think even just going back a step and just playing around and scaling it up a little bit, and you could scale it up here as well in the slider. You know, equally, you can have a lot of fun and just play around with it to see how it fits on your garment. I think this works for me. And then I will also add another section down here. Double check the other side. There we go. Looking good. And then for the section down here for the trousers, I might want to rotate it a little bit more so that it feels a bit more vertical. Here we go. So if I click that there, just stamp it. You can see it's copied it to the other side. 
If you want to make it a bit bigger, again, you can scale it up just like that. And so now what was a plain outfit, you can really use your customized vexes to make it a lot more exciting. And also what is really interesting of using the material and using this as a mask is that if we were to zoom right in, if you click on the material, you still have the power to scale it down. It is all editable. If you didn't like how big the pattern was, you can always scale it down. So that means this is non-destructible. So this is a really good way of adding some flexibility, adding some custom style to your pieces and still having that control over the overall look. For example, if you didn't like the colors, you could equally change them to suit the vibe of this outfit. So perhaps green wasn't the vibe and we wanna add a bit more blue, maybe add more oranges. And there we go. You can really customize and add your own flair to your pieces. I do think that this gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of power, so give it a go. Thanks for tuning in to this Dished Fashion mini series with Adobe. We will be releasing more substance painting tips throughout the month, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you in the next video.